Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you my best styling tips at the moment. If you're new to my channel and you like fashion and styling tips, then you should subscribe. And of course, if you like my content, give this video a thumbs up so I know you do and I can create more videos like this. Let's start with tip number one. First out, we have fashion tape. This is my best friend when it comes to putting on clothes, wanting them to stick to one place without, for example, showing my boobs. For example, when I'm wearing a shirt, a buttoned shirt, I like to have the buttons unbuttoned quite deep, but that is risky and it's a big chance that you will show off your boobs. So what I like to do is putting on some tape, like a V, and then I can stick the shirt to its place and it will stick all day long and I don't have to worry about showing my boobs. So fashion tape should be in every drawer, in every girl's, boy's home. And uh, this is also so good, especially especially when it comes to um, dresses or something more sheer. So fashion tape should be your best friend. Tip number two. When it comes to building up the colors in your outfit, I always get this question like how do I know what colors to wear, how to wear them, how to combine colors and I have this really good rule, the rule of three, um, and that is when you create an outfit, use the same color on, I would say, three places on your body. For example, here we now have white, white, white. Yes, it is the same shirt or the same turtleneck, but still they are in different places, so to say. So that means on my body right now we have three places of white. And then you can add a second color that you put only on one place on your body. That will be the big contrast of the whole outfit and will make the whole outfit pop even more. I'm gonna show you some outfits here that presents these kind of ideas so you know what I'm talking about. But remember the rule of three, adding the same color on the on at least three places on your body, then adding a second color only at one place on your body to make the whole look pop. Ooh, okay, it's getting hot. I'm going to remove this because it's way too hot in here. My lovely blazer, it's actually my grandfather's blazer. We have tip number three. Uh, I'm a huge fan of belts. But sometimes, if you're, for example, wearing a dress, sometimes it's not possible to wear the belt like normal. For example, if it doesn't have hoops like this. What I then like to do is... I put the stick, <laughs> what you call this, on the side. I go through like this. And then from under, just like this. It looks cute and it definitely looks more interesting than wearing your belt like normal. And of course, you can wear belts in so many ways. This is just one of them and one way I like to wear my belts. Number four. As you know, I'm a big fan of blazers. And I love wearing them like this. It looks casual, it looks more relaxed and more stylish, I would say. But the problem is, when you are wearing big blazers like this, it's hard to get them to stick. They will fall down easily. But what you can do is taking hairbands, you put these hairbands on 
And of course, it's better if you have the same color as your blazer. Now I don't, so I'm just gonna take these. And then you just start folding them up like this. And the headbands, the headbands will make them stick. So nice. And of course you should check yourself in the mirror so you can see that the headbands aren't showing. But yeah, when they're not, you're ready to go. And this will stick all day. So this is really nice, but be sure not to take too tight of head headbands because you don't want to lose your blood circulation going on there. So be careful with how tight the headbands are. I guess a lot of you have some kind of dress at home that you can open in front. Maybe it's buttons, maybe it's a zipper. Anyways, it's possible to open it up. Don't just wear this as a dress. You can also just wear that dress as a coat or kimono or what you want to call it. This looks super nice and uh, totally different from if you are wearing it as a dress. You can just tuck up the sleeves, making it look more relaxed and stylish. So I have like I would say three, four dresses like this. And it feels like I have so many options when I can wear my dresses both this way and as a dress, of course. So when you're buying dresses, think also about this, that you can open it up and wear it with pants because you will have more use for that dress. So especially if you want a capsule wardrobe, this is a really good tip. Okay, so I showed you how to make your shirt or blouses stick better on with fashion tape. What I also like to do with my shirts is to crop them and especially to tie them up to make them look more pretty and to make them suit my body type a little bit better. But sometimes I don't think this looks good and I want it to be even shorter, especially if it's summer and I'm wearing high-waisted pants and one that's really summer vibe. What I then like to do is, if I'm wearing a bra like this, I then take this around and instead tie it like this. And then we have it like this. At least I think this looks better than just tying it up as normal. So around the bra to make it stick closer to your body and look nicer. Be shorter and then you can also open up some more buttons if you like that. <laughs> I would say this is the perfect summer style. I think you know by now that I love cropping my blouses, shirts, tops, etc. And when I crop my t-shirts, I, instead of doing just like this, making <laughs> this tail over here, I like doing it like this. Then we have no tail, and yes, this will stick as well. Oh, we wait with that one. <laughs> I think this looks better and cuter than the normal way. What I love to wear is wearing a knitted sweater or a college sweater on top of a dress, especially if the dress is long sleeved, so I can get out those sleeves on my arms as well. That will make the look so well composed and stylish. But what I don't like is my sweater to be like this because this will make me look bigger. And 
I mean, it just doesn't look good. What I like to do is taking a belt, putting it in my waist, Cropping the top by doing like this. And then instead it looks something like this, a lot cuter, a lot nicer for my body and just more interesting I would say. My last and final tip is to try to see things in your wardrobe in a new way. Let's say you see something on Instagram that you would really want to have. Try to go and see if you can find it already in your wardrobe. Let's say you, for example, saw a belt that you really want. Why not check if one of your bags has that kind of belt like a strap. These both are removable. And this I can use as a belt. This actually also happened to be my size. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Isn't that weird? <laughs> but still, like, even if it wouldn't be your size, you can tie it. You can find some other ways to wear it as a belt. So try to see things in new ways. This could also work as a necklace. Look at that, especially if you have a more boho kind of style, this would look really nice. And let's say I'm tired of this necklace that I'm wearing at the moment. Well, why not wear this as a bracelet? Like that. So my last and final tip is to try to see things in new ways because I'm sure that you have a lot of nice stuff in your wardrobe that you can wear in so many other ways if you just let your imagination walk freely. <laughs> so instead of buying new, try to see if you can already find it in your wardrobe. Thank you so much for watching this video, hope you liked my tips and let me know what styling tip was your favorite, what will you add to your outfit right now or tomorrow when you get dressed. Let me know in the comments field down below and remember to subscribe, like this video and see you in my next video. Have a lovely day! Bye!